Even if you've listed your phones on the National Do Not Call Registry, there's a good chance you've recently received a robocall. In most cases, it's a scammer trying to steal your money or identity. Anna Werner spoke to the new head of the FCC about his plans to crack down. Just picked up my cell phone. Button. The calls came to Peter Clark's cell phone in March. I think you have the wrong number, Peter. Hi, you guys need to quit calling my phone. I don't have a credit card. This is ridiculous. His phone number was spoofed. That's when anonymous scammers make it appear as if robocalls to others are coming from your phone. It's not normal to listen to your voicemails and immediately have people yelling at you to stop calling them. It was, um, it was concerning. Americans were swamped by 2.5 billion robocalls last month, up 9% from last year. This is Susan with Credit Card Relief. You qualify for a 75% savings. The FCC's new chairman, so Ajit Pai, promises action. Whether it's through the rulemaking process here at the FCC or the enforcement process, uh, we are going to be the cop on the beat. One step companies are taking, working on new technology to track where exactly the calls are coming from. But advocates like Tim Marvin with Consumers Union think Pi can do more to pressure phone companies. And have you seen him doing that? We haven't seen the same kind of crackdown on the phone companies that we have in the past. Last year, Pi's predecessor called on companies to offer call blocking services to consumers at no cost. Will you insist that the companies offer call blocking and other technologies for free to consumers? That's one of the things I'm very open to doing because I think that it's important for consumers to have all the tools at their disposal. You say open to doing, though. Well, there's some questions about uh, our legal authority that we're working with the uh, lawyers to figure out. Uh, in some cases, we don't necessarily have the authority to mandate something. But from a consumer perspective, I think it's a good idea. Pi says new proposals from the FCC should make it easier for phone companies to block those spoofed calls. For now, there are some apps offered for your smartphones that can stop some of those unwanted calls. Anthony. Anna Werner. Thanks, Anna.